Okay, let us uh, look at this question. A pipe is 2.46 meter long. Okay, this is the length of the pipe. Determine the frequencies of the first three harmonics. If the pipe is open at both ends, okay, take 343 meter per second as the speed of sound in air. Later on, what are the three lowest possible frequencies? If the pipe is closed at one end and open at the other end, okay. So if we first of all identify uh, what kind of uh, uh, components we are using, okay. So uh, as we can see here, the first one is high open at both ends. Ah, uh, open at both ends. So it is an open pipe. An open pipe and it has it is open at both ends that means both ends will have empty note uh, a a we can say empty note with empty note okay and then the, the other b uh, is using pipe closed at one end open at the other uh, so take note pipe closed at one end open at the other so one closed end one open end so this is Closed pipe. This is closed pipe. That means closed at one end, open at the other. So the closed end is using note. The open end is using empty note. Uh, so open pipe is uh, AA, uh, amplitude, uh, no, empty note, empty note. Closed pipe is note and empty note. Uh, we have another one. Yeah, we have another one is a uh, string, uh, which is uh, not. Situate not stated here, yeah. That one is two notes, uh, two fixed end note with note. Ah, remember this, okay? String is a uh, note, note, open end, uh, open part is empty note, empty note, and close part is not an empty note, okay? So, these two questions using these two, lah. so we can say, uh, these two close part and open part, uh, these two, okay? We are using these two. So you must remember the first diagram, okay? First diagram, the fundamental mode diagram for uh, close pipe for both close pipe and open pipe. Uh, once you know these two diagram, you can derive the next diagram, yeah? the following harmonics diagram, okay? So the first one is most important. The fundamental diagram, fundamental mode diagram is the most important. Okay, so um, okay, what information given? So we have the length of pipe. Yeah, length is given. We need to find frequency uh, for first three harmonics. Okay. Uh, this is the speed of sound. Yeah, speed of sound in air. And then the B also asks for three lowest fre frequency. Uh, ask for frequency also. Okay. So the first thing we do is we draw the picture. Uh, draw the diagram. For uh, open pipe and closed pipe. Okay. Once we know the first picture, then we can know the rest. Okay. So okay, I so first we begin with open pipe. Open pipe. Okay. Open pipe means it has uh two empty notes. Okay. Uh, yes, two empty notes. Uh okay. So now, uh, open pipe. Uh, let's begin with open pipe. Okay. Now, uh, let's draw. First of all, we draw the diagram. Okay. This is the diagram. The diagram of the 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 wave, the wave shape. Okay. Later on, uh, we need to know about the. Uh, okay. What mode is it? And then we need to know about the. Uh, what harmonic is this? Okay. After we know about the harmonic, we need to know about the frequency. Uh, we need to know about the frequency. Okay. Uh, frequency F. Okay. And then uh, after that is the maybe wavelength. Okay. The wavelength. The lambda. Okay. So let's draw the picture. Yeah. So let's draw the picture. 
um, so for the fundamental mode is uh, it looks like for open pipe uh, is this one okay let's draw it out okay uh, okay so uh, open pipe is two anti node uh, that means it has two uh, open end it has two anti node here so it must have a uh, node in between okay it must have node in between so uh, so how does it look two anti nodes so uh, like this uh, uh, this is the fundamental mode ah uh, so this is this this is it okay two anti node with one node in between uh, this is the first one is called the fundamental mode uh, this is the fundamental mode okay uh, uh, and uh, so and this is also called the first harmonic this is the first harmonic first harmonic uh, which is uh, n equal to 1 uh, the harmonic means n yeah n values uh, and uh okay i uh, maybe this is uh the called fundamental fundamental mode okay remember open pi is uh all harmonic yeah it's just like the string uh it's just like like the string okay uh this uh this is the string is uh not with not lah okay not with not uh, so open pi and the string both are all harmonics Ah, this is the most important. All harmonic. Ah, all harmonic means what? Means the n has all values. As 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Ah, so for string and open pipe, they are all harmonic. Yeah? Means it has all numbers of n. All numbers of harmonic. 1, 2, 3. Yeah? 1, 2, 3, and 4. Ah, this is important. Only the closed pipe is odd harmonic. Which is one, three, five, and so on. Yeah, only odd number of n. Okay, so uh, okay, uh, we so this is the it has all harmonic. Okay, so uh, so the uh, we can know for for open pipe the next one the next mode will be the first overtone. Okay, first overtone, and then following is the second overtone. Okay. I don't need I don't need to draw the diagram. Okay. Uh, because uh on, I only draw if needed. Okay? I only draw if needed. Okay. So mode, we start with fundamental mode, then go to first overtone, then second overtone. Uh, so since open pipe is all harmonic, all harmonic, so it has all number of n. So we start with first harmonic, then it must have second harmonic because all harmonic. Okay. Uh, it has second harmonic then we have third harmonic uh, so that means second harmonic is n equal to 2 uh, third harmonic is n equal to 3 understand uh, so fundamental mode is first harmonic first overtone is second harmonic then second overtone is third harmonic ah uh, you, you do like this yeah second overtone is third harmonic uh, all harmonic yeah so what is mean by this harmonic? Harmonic means how many times the frequency uh, to the fundamental frequency. So the fundamental frequency has a uh, frequency F1, uh, fundamental frequency, okay, or first harmonic frequency. And then the second harmonic frequency, second harmonic frequency is uh, two times the uh, fundamental frequency. Uh, because the n is equal to 2. n equal to 2 means it has 2 times the fundamental frequency. Uh, yeah? Because according to this formula, um, fn is nf1. Uh, okay? So n, the harmonic, is how many times the uh, first harmonic frequency? Or how many times the fundamental frequency? Okay, so second harmonic means it has twice the fundamental frequency. And then the third harmonic means it has three times. It has three times the fundamental frequency. Okay? Uh, so that's it. Okay, so uh, let's do it.
Uh, so we have we, we know about this relationship already. So let's let us first find the frequency of the fundamental let's let us find the fundamental frequency. Once we know the fundamental frequency, we can know the second harmonic frequency and also the third harmonic frequency. Okay? Uh, so now find the wavelength. So what is the wavelength? Ah, uh, we can find from the length. Uh, it's given the length already here. The length given the length of the pipe is uh you know it is uh recording. Okay, the length is uh two point four six meter uh which is uh the length uh write it down here. Okay, from here up to here. Okay, this is the length of the pipe. Okay. So now, uh, how many uh, wavelength is this? How many wavelength is this? Uh, before this, we already learned about this diagram, isn't it? Uh, let us copy this again, put it over here. Uh, this is for our reference. Uh, remember, from node to node is half wavelength. From anti node to anti node, also half wavelength. Uh, from anti node to anti node, also half wavelength. From node to anti node is one quarter wavelength. Uh, so we can say uh, this one is from anti node to anti node, anti node to anti node. Uh, it is actually uh, half wavelength. Anti node to anti node is half wavelength. Okay? It is half wavelength. Uh, from anti node to anti node. Uh, or we can say um, from uh, ant node, anti node to node is one quarter wavelength uh, this is one quarter wavelength uh, and then from here node to anti node also one quarter wavelength uh, so actually it's uh, one quarter plus one quarter is actually half wavelength uh, okay uh, so uh, one quarter uh, one quarter plus one quarter is half wavelength yeah so actually from anti node to anti node is half wavelength okay uh, so from here, this is actually for the fundamental mode, yeah. This is for only for the fundamental mode. Uh, this picture is only for the fundamental mode. So uh, this is actually the wavelength, wavelength only for fundamental mode, not for the first overtone and second overtone, nah. Uh. First overtone, second overtone, they have uh, other, yeah. Uh. Maybe I can drag, drag this one a little bit down here, uh, like this, yeah. Okay, like this better, yeah. Uh, so this one have their own picture lah. Uh, if you want to draw, want me to draw it, also can. Uh, just draw like that, yeah. Uh, if you want to draw, I draw like this, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, like this, this one like like this, uh, yeah. And then uh, for for the following one is uh, this one, okay. Um, if you want me to draw, so uh, this one a little, uh, okay, like that and like that. Uh, so. Ah, okay. Uh, that's for uh, first overtone and second overtone. But you don't have to draw lah. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to draw. Right now, you just uh, you need the first one. Yeah. Okay. So this is the wavelength only for the fundamental mode. So I can find my wavelength already, isn't it? I can find my wavelength. Uh, let's find out the wavelength. So for the first one, the wavelength. So for, for uh, the L is equal to uh. For the fundamental mode, the length is equal to half wavelength because uh, between n anti node to anti node is half wavelength. Okay, uh, so the length given is uh two point four six meter, two point four six. So let's put in uh two point uh sorry two point four six meter. Uh, put in uh, and then uh okay. So what's the wavelength for this one? What's the wavelength? Let's calculate 2.46 times 2. Uh, I got ah, 4.92 meter. It SI unit, isn't it? Yeah, meter SI unit. So, okay. The lambda also in meter SI unit. So, I got my wavelength already. Uh, so, I got my wavelength. I can find the frequency. Uh, how to find the frequency? Uh, given the speed already. So you just use the uh, v equal to f lambda, yeah. You just use v equal to f lambda, 
Okay, for fundamental mode, just use V equal to F lambda. Uh, so the speed given is 343. Three. Just put inside 343. Three. Okay, and then uh, frequency and then lambda is uh, 4.92 meter SI unit. Okay, so what's my frequency? Uh, what's my frequency? 343 three, divided by uh, uh, 4.92. So the answer is, uh, ah, I got my frequency is 69.72 hertz. Ah, 69.72 hertz. Okay, uh, so that's my fundamental frequency. So my, my first harmonic frequency. Uh, my first harmonic frequency is uh, 69.72 hertz. Okay, uh, that's my the my first harmonic frequency 69.72. Uh, so then I can find my uh, the the next three next two harmonic, the second harmonic and third harmonic. I can find the frequency already because second harmonic frequency is twice the fundamental frequency twice the first harmonic frequency uh, because the n is actually the harmonic so the second harmonic means the n is equal to two two times the first harmonic frequency so uh, just multiply yeah two times the 69.72 and i will get the answer equal to so two times 69.72 i will get uh ah 139.44 hertz ah that's my uh, uh second harmonic frequency and then for the third harmonic frequency is three times the fundamental frequency which is um which is what uh, times three yeah 69.72 times three i will get uh, yeah, 209.16 hertz. Ah, so that's my uh, third harmonic frequency. Is this correct? Let's see. The, let's look at the answer. Uh, is the answer correct? Uh, 69.72, that's correct. The first harmonic frequency, the second harmonic frequency, 139.43 hertz. Yes, that's correct. Uh, that's correct and then for my uh, third harmonic frequency is uh, 209.15 hertz uh, almost the same yeah 209.16 hertz that's correct so my first question done yeah uh, i already got the frequency for the first three harmonic first harmonic second harmonic third harmonic okay remember open part has all harmonic so it has all number of n. Yes, one, two, three, four, five. It has all number. Uh, but then the close by is an odd harmonic. It doesn't have second harmonic. It straight away from first harmonic jump to third harmonic. Uh, jump to third harmonic. Okay, let's look at. Let's do the the B. Yeah, let's do the B. So let's do the B now. Okay, let's do the B. Question B. Yeah, question B. Uh, let's do the question B. Now I prepare uh, the diagram for you also. Okay, let's prepare the diagram for you. Okay, uh, so this is closed pipe. Closed pipe is actually um, is actually uh, uh, node to anti node. Okay, uh, unlike last time, uh, open pipe is uh, anti node with anti node. Okay, uh, for closed pipe is uh, uh, node to anti node. Okay, uh, so the diagram for closed pipe is uh, we have a node, yeah, we have a node and go to anti node. Uh, it looks like this, lah. It looks like this, yeah, from node to anti node. So how to draw the diagram? The first one is the, mo the most important. The first one is the most important. Draw the first one. Okay, uh, this is node to anti node. Uh, the second one, you, you want to draw also can, you don't want to draw also can, lah, but uh, just show you yeah, how is it drawn. Yeah? Always note to anti note. Okay? Uh, but uh, the second one just add another half wavelength. Uh, so it becomes like, like something like this. Uh, okay? Something like this. 
uh, like this. Yeah, it has a it has a, um uh how to say anti node over here and a node over here lah. Uh, and then uh the 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 following one and another half wave length becomes like this. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, it has a uh, uh, anti node node anti node node. Uh, okay. No, anti node. So the, the important is the one end is node, one end is anti node. One end is node, the closed end is node, the open end is always anti node. Remember that, okay? okay? But you just have to draw the first one because to get the frequency for the, the second, for the next harmonic, uh, you just multiply by the number of harmonic. Uh, so it's very easy. Okay, so what's the mode? So, so the first one, okay, we want to find the three lowest possible frequency. Okay, three lowest possible frequency. Um, so, but first of all, we need to know closed pipe is uh, odd harmonic. Uh, it is, it is odd harmonic. Ah, remember that. Remember, string, string, and open pipe. They are all harmonic, all harmonic. It has the number of the n has all values one two three one two three. Only the closed part is a little bit odd. It's a little bit odd. The closed part is odd. It has only odd harmonic. So the n doesn't have even number. The harmonic doesn't have even number. It only has odd number. Huh? One three five. It straight away. It don't have second harmonic. It straight away jump to third harmonic. You see that? Other people jump. Uh, other people have uh, second harmonic first. But this one, the, the close pipe, close pipe is all harmonic. It straight away jump to third harmonic. It doesn't have second harmonic. Uh, so other people, first overtone is second harmonic. But for the close pipe, the first overtone is third harmonic. Other people, first overtone is second harmonic. This one, the first overtone is third harmonic. Other people, second overtone is third harmonic. This one, second overtone becomes fifth harmonic. So different. Uh, different at this place. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, okay, so that's close pipe. Close pipe is odd harmonic. So, we write first. Close pipe is odd harmonic. Then, we write down uh, the value of n it has. It has odd harmonic means it has 1, start with 1, then go to 3, then go to 5, then go to 7, then go to 9, and so on. Okay, that's good. Uh, once we know that, that's good. So, okay, what mode is the first one? This is always the fundamental mode. Then, uh, going down is the... First overtone, uh, yeah, this is the fundamental. Lah. We say this is the fundamental mode. This is the first overtone. Uh, and then we have the second overtone. Okay, we have the second overtone. Then uh, this is the three lowest frequency. You understand? This is the three lowest frequency. And close by is only odd harmonic odd harmonic so the harmonic it only has odd number so the fundamental mode is first harmonic and then the first overtone is not second harmonic uh, it's not like it's not like the open pipe first overtone is second harmonic ah uh, this one the first overtone here become third harmonic because it's odd harmonic and become third harmonic the second overtone become fifth harmonic because only odd number huh? uh, the first, first harmonic is n equal to 1 then this one is n equal to 3 uh, this one is n equal to 5 so the harmonic is actually the n values understand the harmonic is actually the n values the first harmonic is n equal to 1 third harmonic is n equal to 3 n equal to 5 fifth harmonic so what is the meaning of this harmonic what is the meaning of this n n means the num the how many times the frequency of that harmonic to the fundamental frequency uh, how many times the frequency to the first harmonic frequency so the frequency for first harmonic is still the uh, first harmonic frequency and third harmonic frequency we write as f3 uh, it has three times the fundamental frequency three times the first harmonic frequency understand and then for the fifth harmonic, fifth harmonic means uh, fifth harmonic frequency is 
five times the fundamental frequency. Remember, frequency is n f1 n. Ah, the harmonic, the harmonic n is how many times the fundamental frequency. Ah, so the fundamental frequency is f1. The first overtone frequency or the third harmonic frequency is three times the three times the uh, fundamental frequency and then the next one is five times the fundamental frequency uh, not like this one two times this uh, this one is two times the frequency this one is three times frequency this one is three times the fundamental frequency and five times the fundamental frequency so it jump jump faster yeah uh, okay uh, now we want to find the frequency before you can find the frequency we must find the wavelength okay uh, so first of all we know given the length of pi okay uh, okay first we need to know this is how many wavelength note to anti note is how many wavelength uh, refer to this diagram we have learned before in the, our standing wave uh, note to anti note note to anti note is only one quarter wavelength understand one quarter wavelength uh, note to anti note so this one note Note to anti note is just one quarter wavelength. Uh, this is just one quarter wavelength. Ah, uh, yeah. From here to here. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, from note to anti note is only one quarter wavelength. And the the whole length, the whole length. What is the whole length given? Ah, uh, is the same as uh, before lah. The length given two point four six. Ah, uh, two point four six. Okay. 2.46 meter 2.46 meter in SI unit meter okay uh, 2.46 2 point yep uh, 2.46 meter uh, so from uh, the whole pipe the whole pipe is 2.46 meter ah uh, so from here from the length you can get the lambda uh, let's find the lambda first so lambda uh, the length is equal to uh, one quarter wavelength. Okay, one quarter wavelength. So the length is one quarter wavelength because it's go from node to anti node. Node to anti node is one quarter wavelength. Eh? Node to anti node one quarter wavelength. Uh, okay. So now let's find the wavelength. So this lambda is um, this lambda is four uh, l. Uh, this lambda is four l. four uh, l. So which is um. Uh, which is 4 times the length, the whole the lambda is 4L. So L is 2.46 2.46 meter uh, in SI unit meter. So let's calculate uh, 4, let's calculate two, 4 times 2.46. We get uh, 9.84 9 meter. Uh, 9.84 meter. Okay. Uh, that's the lambda for the fundamental frequency. That's a lambda. You got it. So now let's calculate. Uh, let's calculate the frequency for for the fundamental frequency. So uh, let's calculate the frequency. We just use formula. What v equal to f lambda? Uh, v equal to f lambda because we already given the speed. We given the speed already. Speed is three four three. You see that three four three. Uh, so just substitute into the speed here. And then we substitute the lambda. We substitute the lambda here. We can get the f frequency. I guess now the speed is uh, 343. Substitute. Uh, 343. And then uh, frequency, uh, lambda is 9.84 meter. Is SI unit meter. Uh, so what's the frequency? Uh, so what's the frequency? 343 divided by 9.84. So we get uh, frequency is 34.86. 6 hertz. Ah, that's a frequency. That's a fundamental frequency. Uh, 34.86 hertz. Ah, we got it. Okay. So what's the... Third harmonic frequency, uh, three times, three times the first harmonic frequency. Odd harmonic, uh, this one is odd harmonic. Yeah, remember the difference. Huh? Open pipe is, open pipe is all harmonic. 
uh, open pipe is all harmonic but close by is a little bit odd uh, yeah it's like when you confine yourself close yourself you become odd odd person okay uh, odd harmonic so this is uh, three times the frequency instead of two times the frequency this one become three times the fundamental frequency okay so we multiply three instead of multiply two okay the first order become uh, last time the first order is second harmonic this one the first order is third harmonic uh, okay so three times the fundamental frequency multiply three so what do we get uh, what do we get uh, let's times three uh, 34.86 times three and we will get the answer uh, it is a 104.104.58 hertz wow yeah three times the fundamental frequency and then the fifth harmonic frequency is five times the fundamental frequency so in the end what do we get what do we get yeah uh, what do we get uh, five times so uh, five times five times so i get oh one uh, 174.3 hertz uh, that's the fifth harmonic frequency five times the first harmonic frequency five times the fundamental mode frequency the second overtone second overtone frequency is five times the fundamental frequency the first overtone first overtone frequency is three times the fundamental frequency okay because it's odd harmonic one three five harmonic uh, so is the answer correct let's see yeah let's see that's the frequency the three lowest frequency you see this is the lowest frequency and then the second lowest and this is the third lowest frequency okay uh, okay let's look at it uh, the first fundamental frequency is 34.86 is it correct yes 34.86 that's correct uh, 34.86 it's correct and then following it is 104.57 almost correct okay uh, and then uh, 17429 uh, almost correct yeah one seven four two nine and one seven four one seven four two nine one seven four three hertz that's correct uh, that's for close pipe so just remember the difference open pipe is all harmonic close pipe is odd harmonic huh? aa and na uh, open pipe is aa string is nn close pipe is na uh, and note to note is half lambda Note to anti note is one quarter lambda. Anti note to anti note is half lambda. Uh, anti note to anti note is half lambda. So that's all for just use V equal to F lambda uh, to, to find the answer. Always we start with doing finding the wavelength. Normally we start with do, finding the wavelength. After we got the wavelength, we use the V equal to F lambda to find the frequency. So the sequence is like this draw the diagram first, draw the diagram. Uh, draw diagram determine how many harmonic okay draw the diagram then getting the harmonic getting the harmonic and then and then from the and then after that we get the wavelength and then from the wavelength um, uh, use the v equal to f lambda to find the frequency uh, so that's the sequence of the our step here yeah find the draw the diagram getting what harmonic and then get find the wavelength from wavelength use v good f lambda find the frequency that's normally the sequence okay or actually there are other methods we to to do this question you can also use the formula given the general formula given uh, which i didn't show here but uh, i did show in other videos you can also use this formula general formula for string for close pipe and open pipe the difference is for string and open pipe since uh, both of them are all harmonic uh, all harmonic all harmonic 
Uh, so uh, the formula is divided by 2L, divided by 2L. But for close by, close by is odd harmonic. Uh, close by is odd harmonic. So uh, you divide by 4L. Uh, that's the difference. Only the odd harmonic, close by, divided by 4L. For, for, the, uh, for the string string and open pipe, divided by 2L. Divided by 2L. Only the close pipe, divided by 4L. Okay, uh, you can use also this formula to do the questions. They will be provided in the exam, this formula. Okay, so that's all for this question. Uh, thank you uh, and see you uh, in the next video. Bye!